this is a special announcement from the Stormreach branch of PETA. If this is your dog, please come get it. He's just wobbling here in the harbor for four days now. He's out of sorts. He looks bloody. I'm not sure if that's his or somebody else's. He actually looks pretty cool. Oh, look at those blades on his back. Yeah, so come get him, please. Hello and welcome. Dirty William here, back with another episode of Dungeons and Dragons Online Let's Play, the Rogue Edition, and we are going to be taking level 8. As you can see down at the bottom, let me pull this up here, um, 305,000 would be capping, or, or would get me level 9. I'm banking XP, because why not, for right now. Uh, actually, let's get rid of that. So, there we go. And upper edge. Yes, there we go. Um, so 300 to 5,000, as you can see, I'm very close to that. So I have to take level 8 or I will get no more XP, which is a shame. So we're going to advance this character to level 8 as a rogue. We are going to put a point into... Now, this is level 8. We're still going to put a point into dexterity. The reason being, we need 19 dexterity to qualify for the feat Improved Precise Shot at level 15. Improved Precise Shot is really really good so we really really want that but the bumps at levels 12 16 and 20 will all go into intelligence and in case anyone wonders I think it's down in the description take a look at that that will show if you have say a plus one tome then you only have to bump up dexterity by one if you have a plus two tome you can bump it up you don't have to bump it up at all or you can set it lower if you have a higher tome for example, if you have a plus four tome on a kit that you can eat at level 15, then you can always, or even, yeah, I think it's level 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I don't know. Um, but if you have a tome, you can uh, you can bypass that and put all points into intelligence. Since this is a free-to-play account, and since I don't have any tomes just lying around gathering dust, I have to put a point into dexterity. So that is the reason I'm doing that. So, go to next. We're going to go for balance, bluff. Diplo, disable, haggle, yeah. hide, yeah. move silently, open lock, search, spot, yeah. UMD, and a little bit in concentration. And that is all of our skill points. I debated on taking the points from bluff and putting them into something else, but there's really nothing that terrific. I could keep bumping up my jump score if I wanted to, and I might put some points into that. It just depends. It just really depends. Hmm. Okay, go to next. So what do we get? Eight hit points, a base attack bonus from five to six, reflex from five to six, uh, ability point raise was in dexterity, uh, uncanny dodge, grants a point, blah, 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 <laughs> grants one percent dodge bonus, it can stack multiple times, improved uncanny dodge, activate this ability to gain temporary 50% dodge bonus, and a plus six reflex save bonus. This feat also grants you a plus, or a 1% passive bonus to dodge at levels 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So our dodge should be pretty good. Those are all of our skill points that we put points into, and we finish. And we've already spun around. Neat little trick. And we're going to control R, and we still get that out of my pretty face. Oh god, I've turned crazy. There we go. That's much better. I like the goggles. They look kind of neat. I like that on a trapper type of thing. A trapper build. So what do we have? We have points that we're still going to put into mechanic. Now, down in the bottom, you will see that I also have spell resistance uh, in the draw tree over here that I'd like to take. Uh, draw intelligence one, which is like right here. Uh, keen senses, which is somewhere. And nothing is hidden at tier two, which is also somewhere up here. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing that yet because I still want to put some points into this tree. Now, one thing that we have not taken is this improved traps 3. So we're going to take that. Uh, let's see, is anything else at tier 3? And of course the dog is barking, why wouldn't it? We have sharpshooter at tier 3, UMD 3, and intelligence, so that is good. And we can, at tier 4, we have that and fletching, leg shot, and intelligence. Now, leg shot, what does that do? Uh, range attack on damage, slow your enemies movement by 50% for 10 seconds. That is not awful, but I think I'm going to put it into intelligence. And let's see what intelligence is. 25. So if we put a point into intelligence and accept, then we should have an intelligence 26. Yep. Uh, and uh, 
down here someplace, I think it's this one, and use your intelligence modifier for damage with all crossbows and thrown weapons. So we get a plus eight. So you can see where at levels 12, 16, and 20, whenever we put three more points in and with better gear, this is going to be higher than our dexterity, which dexterity would be what we would use for damage and attack if we did not have the, I guess, enhancement here. So we have one more point left, and I hate to just waste it on something. Let's get rid of that for a second. Um, I did try out this Tinklefoot thing, and it's actually pretty funny. Um, now, it kind of it's like a gooey mess that they walk through, and it's kind of acidic, but uh, it's mostly just to keep mobs more away from me, because I don't want them to hurt my little face. Um, we have some stuff uh, in Assassin that we can start taking as well, and I'm not really sure how to distribute the points like that. Um, the only reason we would take this is just to open up trees, or open up the tree up here. But the killer at tier 4, right here, we're taking 3 levels in that eventually, but we have to spend 20 points in the tree. When you kill a target, you plus 5% morale bonus to double strike and double shot. Um, they double shot your range attacks, including thrown attacks, gain a percent chance to attack with an extra projectile. Repeating crossbows have a reduced chance to produce extra shots. So if we go for just the great crossbow, then it'd be fine. But if we go for a repeater, it's going to have a reduced effect. But it seems like killer is something that people always take. So eh. I'm not sure <laughs> if I want to put a point into that or if I want to put a point into the draw thing over here. So I think, hmm, spell resistance? Hmm, I don't really know. I have to spend 20 points in this tree to get killer, and it sounds like it's pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting some things into that, because this draw tree was just for extra stuff uh, that I had points for, so I think the two main ones are going to be Mechanic and Assassin. This is a learning process for me too, kids. I don't have access to Harper. Um, Harper would be great if I had the points to spend on it, but I want to save points for packs, because as a free-to-play account, that is what I want, is more content. More content means more favor, more quest, uh, quicker leveling. Da, 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 da. So I think we'll put it over here into Assassin and we'll start putting some points up through here. So we go to accept and close and there we're good. Um, as far as gear goes, I have a plus four wisdom item that I purchased with money, uh, plus three resistance necklace that I got from Elite Ironstone Inlet as an end reward. And you'll see that gameplay uh, going on probably right now-ish, right about now. Uh, still have that, still have that. Uh, let's see, what do I have? Proof against poison plus six. I actually switched that out for whenever I was running uh, proof. No, not proof is in poison, although I will keep keep on to that. I haven't run proof of poison yet. Uh, fresh in the air, yeah, with all the troglodyte stinkies, yeah. So let's keep that on us for that. Uh, plus four intelligence item. I've been mostly taking Gilder now, but I took those boots because I wanted them badly. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same, so nothing really to speak of there. I have mail, which I haven't checked on, so um, let's go over here, take a gander. I'm not really going to say anything much after this, after I go check my mail, but uh, I could have gone up the other way. Huh. I'm, I'm just off kilter today. So if you'd like to stop watching now, please don't, because I might have awesome uber mail. I, I sold some auctions, I think, so uh, they might have expired, so it might not be that great. But I also might have gotten all kinds of money. Okay, this guy here has been in the harbor for like four days. This pet of somebody's has been in the harbor for four days. If any of my viewers, this is a special announcement from the Stormreach branch of PETA. If this is your dog, please come get it. He's just wobbling here in the harbor for four days now. He's out of sorts. He looks bloody. I'm not sure if that's his or somebody else's. He actually looks pretty cool. Oh, look at those blades on his back. Yeah, so come get him, please. Come get your pet. If anybody knows whose dog that is, please contact somebody and do something. Ah, uh, auction expired. Good. That was worth the wait. Shh. Barf. Okay, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Until next time, this is Dirty William, reminding you to do the dirty work.